Hello everybody and welcome back to Granite Shores and City Skylines where today we're going to get the highway in and hopefully start zoning in the new city area and afterwards maybe start to expand it out a little to the edges of this of that area. So first things first let's well get something of a highway in. <laughs> But I did want to talk off topic real quick first a, about a virus that has been going around on the, or not a virus, but a pop-up that you, that needs to be considered. I want to make sure all of you guys are protected from this malicious content as it scared the poop out of me when I saw it. Uh, so it didn't actually happen to my computer. But the wife's. Now, what happened was, and I'm going to curve that in, don't worry, is that she was just playing Farmville on Zynga, and this happens to Facebook as well, apparently, that you'll get this pop-up saying that your computer has been infected by malicious wear and needs fixing. Don't do anything. Do not call the number. Do not click on the web page don't do anything what you need to do and you will lose any unsaved data is turn it off immediately after that restart your computer run a virus scan and everything should be okay but the idea is is that it's malicious it's it's a malicious ad and a scam so it don't oh you you don't have water you have not had water for some time. <laughs> Let's pull that down. But anyways, I want to make sure that anybody watching is safe. And it's something that just came up in my life so I know about it. And therefore, I can tell you guys on how to fix it. Because I had to go through the process of fixing it. <laughs> so anyways, just keep that in mind that it is malicious wear. And, and, an, and a, an ad. A scam ad. So, do not... Okay, well, can you go lower? <laughs> so, do not buy into the scam. Do not call the number. Do not do anything it says. So... Okay, well, how low can, can we go? We can go down to 36. We need... But, yeah, it's, it's just... Yeah, just be safe, guys. So, minus 9 is 27, which... Because I do want to stack the highway on top of itself, but I need to get it under this... Really? You're not... You're just not allowed to put highways underneath... These things, huh? At all. Oh, no, there it goes. I just need it to be at a lower point, it looks like. Well, I can't put another highway under that. Okay, it may have to separate and remerge then. Because if I can't put anything under it, then <laughs> what am I going to do, right? So, let's have this turn back this way. Or, well, no, let's have it go out like two on this side. And coming back up as much as it can. Okay, good to know that, that that this slope is incredibly steep. In fact, let's pull it out a little bit further, trying to pull it back up to that 13. Okay, just to right there. Yeah, we have plenty of room left too, so. So we'll have this go two wide. And maybe what we'll do is we'll have the second one go one wide. So it'll come out right there, go under, and then up here it'll go one wide again and go under. So. But now we want from this side. We'll connect it all up in a little bit. But we really do, or I really want it to come off of here. So that's negative nine. That goes out two. That should be plenty of room. And I do 
think an over under right even from right here would be good can i okay so that's stupid why would the why would the underground go up there we go okay so through the mountain yes i want it through the mountain and that's going to come down here somewhere so place that there let's pull this down to about right there that way we can get a decent curve actually you know what all the way out to there what uh why am i above ground all of a sudden no i want it to connect Okay, so we have that connected. Let's draw out some little lines here. Well, then don't go down that. Oh, wow, really? Slope too steep? Unless I do that. Huh. Well, okay. So let's go down here. That's, oh, that's right, underground. Back this off a little. Back this off a little. And we'll go to in both of the respects respective directions so two and right there so let's attach that and then pull this back and then oh it's gonna try to make it up the hill though it's not gonna okay well right there's fine then so let's grab this pull it out we know it's going to turn right there and then connect so that it stays under the ground. <laughs> oh, that's right. When it goes to the surface, it's considered a surface road. Okay, so. Oh, wow. Somebody's actually take. Oh, that's probably a police car. It's going to take you forever, Mr. Police Officer. You're not actually supposed to go down that yet. <laughs> I will, that does mean I'll have to make sure that these roads are not getting flooded too, which is going to be a pain because there's not a lot of room around there to, I might just have to get rid of all the buildings around. So, but from there, let's pull this out to the next point, which is about right there. Have it keep going to the other side of the hill and we'll probably connect it somewhere over here uh, and at that we may have to do something more but for now i think it'll be good enough we'll have to attach it to this somehow and maybe just having a break off that goes straight down and connects down here somewhere but for now i think that will probably be good so we'll definitely make this off area a lot busier because we'll, we'll have a ton more people going around it it doesn't look like a lot of people are going this way though so that's a good thing or on the roundabout piece they're not going that way i mean <laughs> so we need a second line in here that is literally directly under this Let's try to pull it in this direction. It's a little flatter. Nope, <laughs> it's still too steep. Okay, well, out here it's flat. We can pull it out here. So let's put this down another nine, which would be at 22. And let's see if we can't get this to be under. No, I want it under, please. Nope, under, please. Nope, 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 nope. Actually, you know what? One way to do this is to actually delete these two sections. Have this go out to there. And then have this go across over the top of it. And ta-da! We get the height that we want underneath. Okay, so let's pull this out to... But of course, it's going to be a pain to try to place... No, I want it underneath. Okay, maybe we should have it down at 
25 because it seems to be able to self-place at 25 underneath. But let's see where it's, where does it start turning? After that point or at this point. So Now let's get rid of these back two sections. So that it's all at 25. And on this one, like we said, we'll just pull it out because I pulled it out one. That's pulled out three. Um, well, that's a little weird. Okay. Well, let's pull that out there and it does line back up right here it looks like so and we do want need this to go pretty deep we'll just throw it 25 was actually about the elevation that it needed to go under we'll throw it deeper though because we don't have to bring it back up as far so what seriously Ugh. Okay, what if I did just Angry Bird it? Does that change the looks or is, is that like an invisible tube? It looks like it. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna Angry Bird it through there. So, let's back it up all the way to the bend point. And we're just gonna remain at 25 level. Why are you at 24? You need to be down at 25 just all the way to the curve point, which, yeah, I think is right there, but we want to be one further in, remember, because we want to curve into it. Actually, that should be right there. So I do believe these are invisible tunnels or they're not physically there in the game. So, around to there, and then we will just keep on pulling this through all the way down to here, might as well. Yeah, we'll pull it out a little just so that makes it easier. Okay, so we have this going around like that. We need to pull this out to, where does it start turning? I would think right there. So, Pull it out to there. Pull it out. No, it, it would be at that point. Never mind. Okay, let's back it up. Uh, but we do need straight. Not at 27, please. I, I do want to try to... Okay, we'll keep it at 27 for the moment. And then from there... Curve it. Oh, I might need to build this side out a little bit first. Yeah, I'm going to have to build this side out a little bit first because it's trying to lift it. So, let's get a road under here. See if we can't start one. If we can't, then we're going to have to try to pull one around. Which might be the case. Um, hmm. So let's have you come out one. Did you start at that elevation? Sorry, it's saying that it's, it's putting it at 90 or 29 minus, which, okay, that's not going to work either. So let's pull it out from here. We'll pull it out five. Pull it out five, but we want it to go down further. We don't want it to attach. Just want it underneath. I saw some. Yep, right there. Right there. Say at 25. Two. We'll keep that consistent. Unless needed to be otherwise. <laughs> so let's pull it through. And then we need to back it off to about right there. It's not going to be perfect, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. 
Even though I clicked on this, it was like, nope. <laughs> right to about there and link it to there. There we go. It's a little different, but y you know, this area is just not very easily built through, so not going to worry too much. And then we're going to have a... Oop, I canceled that because I thought I was on something else. <laughs> Just to have it come through. Where does it interfere? Oh, the train. Can we... We can do that, but now it interferes with something else. The other area over there. Hmm. Okay, well, let's have this come out at the 25 for the time being. We'll lift it up just before the train tracks, maybe? No, because we really need it to come out to right there. Can we lift it before the train tracks? Uh, we don't want it to attach, that's for sure. You know what? We can have it come out to the side for a second here. Or 17 seems to work. That is still... Actually, that's not even directly under anymore. <laughs> so yeah, 17 works. So let's get that right there. And then over to here. But then obviously low enough that it's not interfering with it any further. Down at 26, apparently. So that is pretty much going to be our highway. Now we need to get connections to it. Or, well, actually, you know what? Let's first upgrade it to a highway. And this is going to be a little more difficult because we have a whole bunch of road above it that we don't want changed. We do want the other highway piece. But we just don't want the other road section. Uh, okay, we're going to have to fix that. I get why it did it. And I'm not blaming it, but still. <laughs> okay, get all of these pieces. Don't want any of those. Oh, and then we have to let go right there just to make sure that we, when we do upgrade it, we upgrade the. I'm getting tired of just <laughs> the, the train system right there being so finicky. So, we're just gonna anarchy it. It should be fine. It's not like there is intersections and stuff like that. So, right here, we then need to upgrade this top piece. Not that one, but that one. So, just follow this along. I guess the directions kind of were chosen for us on this. I kind of pulled it around one way with one and the other with the other, so... Well... But to be fair, it does not look like it's directly above and under again. No, it's not. So, to be fair, this side would actually be better for the going away one. Hmm. So, we might just have to change the directions of all of these. And this is easy because there's not a lot of one ways. I'm, I might have to rechange some of the one ways. <laughs> there's not a lot of them, but I just realized I may have changed a couple. Oh, did it put itself back underground? Oh, very nice. I sounded very British there. Actually, I should stop doing that because I need to change right here that this is actually going this way. That this is going the other. That 
that is going that way. And actually, both of these... The top one needs to be changed. So... Out to there. That one, that one, and continuing down to there. Okay, so we have everything kind of how it needs to be. So let's get out our bulldozer because we don't need all of what is actually down here. We don't need these little side things and we don't need it sticking out like that. I'm going to pull that back a little bit further because I'm almost guaranteeing that it's going to be requiring something similar to that. Okay, that does not curve at all. Let's see if we can't get a little bit of curve on it. Yes, we can. So, that connecting down into that. And then... Where did I put that curve? I wish it could tell me where I put the curves. Because it would make it so much easier for me. Okay, let's change those around. Like that. Okay, now let's get this one in. Let's get it to the... Are you really interfering with the space above? Oh, uh, but not at that point. Okay. So, and then this one needs to go above. Not to the main road there, though. We want to this one underneath. I'm thinking that this is connecting to the monorail road. I really do. Although from there, it looks like it's connecting to the highway. Why are you having issues with that? Oop, I passed it. It's supposed to be right there. Oop. Um, it's going to do anarchy. Then I found out that I couldn't mess with it a little bit. Like that. Like, how does that interfere? I don't even see how that would interfere. Why would, would that be not allowed? To be fair, I do need to increase the road in the middle there, though. Because if we turn on this, you can kind of see it's not the highest, and water does not flow away from it, necessarily. So, and it does drop right here a little, and I do not like that very much. We're going to increase that. We're going to just level it out a bit to this hill that it's trying to go up. Come on. There's so much right here, I think, that it's causing a lot, a lot of problems. Okay, let's have it up a little higher. We're going to put it a little high. Because when we get to right here, it's going to come up and even it out a bit. And then right here is going to even out a little bit more. And then that goes into there. And anar or not anarchy, uh, the highway underneath shouldn't have a problem with it just being normal now anyway. So. And big. And let's try to get this in a better manner so that it doesn't look as steep so that the gradient is actually not as bad okay, just like that okay, now if we go underground again with the roots we have a little issue here what is the issue you need to be the other way no you need to be the other way there we go. And let me make sure I didn't accidentally change the one ways. Yeah, I did. I think. Or I never changed that one. <laughs> so it should be pointing around in a circle. So yeah, those are good. So let's get these connected. Ooh, there's not a lot of room for these to connect. Because this is pretty high up. Yeah, I want it from this road. <laughs> Thank you. That looks good. I do need to change the direction on that other one. Though. 
No, I want it on that road, please. No, I want it from that road, please. Thank you. <laughs> this game. I think it might have something to do with precision engineering as well, because I've never really had this issue with it, so. But we need to upgrade all of these as well. So going off and going under on highway off ramps, essentially. Just like that. Okay, the city's connected to this highway. Now we need to get over here to connect to it. And not by this. <laughs> In fact, we can get rid of those now. So, I'm thinking... Let's have this one... Come out to, say... Uh, let's get actually use these because I'm going to get a much better... Oh, really? No, I want to connect to that. No, I want to connect to that. <laughs> it's being very trouble or problematic at the moment, and it's being troublesome because of it. So that is going that way. So we want it to attach to this highway. Oh, that's right. Because of this hill, though, we're not going to get a good attachment. So let's just try to have it curve onto it. Space already occupied. Okay, we're going to have to pull it under the road, apparently. Real quick. Pull it down to... 13, just to be sure. We'll have it. Ah, oh, so many road guidelines making it difficult. Seriously, how is it going inter to interfere with that? I want to know. Okay, well, let's pull it out to here. Have it curve, because it looks like it can without being sloped too steep. And then we'll have it just link up to this where it is 180. Space already occupied. The other highway? Huh. Because it should be further back. What's that angle? Wait, no. I did, Stop lying to me. I saw it as green. Eh, that's good. Okay, so connect up and in, down into there. But then we could kind of have it just connect up onto this side of this highway. That's bad form, but but I really don't want to mess with it anymore. <laughs> so it needs to be connected because we need the ability to get out there soon because we want to build. So let's pull this out to about right there. Now this needs to do something similar. But actually, you know what? I'm thinking I'll have this one go lower. Have it drop down to like 20 and come out all the way to there. Because what I'm thinking is maybe we can sneak a road underneath this one. How high can we get this? Not very. <laughs> so up to about right there. And then have it attach to this somehow. See, now that I would understand that it is interfering with the lower one right there. I would understand that. So I'll have it come up more. See if we can't get it to connect somewhere through here. I thought I saw a green. Yep, right there. 
It's going to be a little janky, but it's going to be okay. <laughs> oh, and that is the timer. Okay, stop, stop. Wow, this highway took forever to make, that means. No, I want this. No, I want whatever that is. There we go. <laughs> but I think we are... We have a... Why can I not click? You are green. Okay, that was weird. Let's try that again. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like as it does help the channel. And do subscribe if you're not already to catch the next episode as it comes out. Really? Yes, I can. <laughs> and I'll smooth that out later. But... Wait, that's not right, is it? No, that's going that way. Okay. Mm. Oh, no, that had to go to the lower one. Derp. Okay, but anywho, if you have it, if you guys enjoyed, please do subscribe as it does help the channel. And to catch the next episode as it comes out. <laughs> if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. And be safe with that ad scam don't fall for it it does pop up on for sure i know zanga but it supposedly pops up on facebook sites too so just be wary be safe and i'll see you guys in the next one have a good one goodbye <laughs>